What's up, Lore Masters? Today we're going to be analyzing the recent pictures that were released for the newest series, namely Star Trek Picard. The photographs I really want to focus on, though, are more the ones that give a sneak peek versus that very sad, sad promotional one that they tried to give us. While I know I'm a few days away from when all of this was announced, I wanted to take my time and really look into the show and analyze what was coming out versus just throwing up a video. So I appreciate you guys giving me the patience. So when we study the pictures available, it does open up some possibilities, both in what's happening and the lore. From what we can tell of the picture, it looks like there is a strong chance we will still have somewhat of a militarized Starfleet, at least to some degree. Looking at the picture from Twitter user at TestOutCore, there appears to be at least two uniforms present from Starfleet. The first is a late DS9 Nemesis uniform, though it does appear to be altered. You can see this from the man walking in the top right. Unfortunately, this was taken by the worst camera that exists on planet Earth, so it's quite possible that it's just the way the light is hitting the uniform versus the uniform actually being gray. As a film student and a guy that spends hours in Photoshop, allow me to assure you, changing the light of an object or how it hits the object can make the color look drastically different lest we forget this fracking monstrosity that happened a while back. I'm honestly on the fence here. I think that the uniform looks a lot like the others around it, but the shot shows it to be undeniably without color in this lighting. If it is from the more militarized Starfleet, then it's definitively been changed, looking more like those around him with the ribbing gone. From a lore perspective, I do hope to God this is a post-Nemesis uniform, that they are going this route. Even if it's basically the same uniform as the others, just with no color. The Picard series will be set in the year 2375, only 24 years after the Dominion War. The Dominion War was portrayed as the most horrific thing that had ever happened to the Federation to date. Beta Z was occupied, hundreds of thousands of Starfleet officers dead, and the Cardassian Union was all but destroyed. 24 years is a very, very short time. These aren't scars that would be easily forgotten, especially not by humans nor Andorians. To return to an early DS9-like uniform gives one the impression that they've just moved on or have recovered. That's unrealistic to me. That said, them doing this wouldn't exactly be fourth wall breaking. Starfleet instantly reverting back to a more pacifistic way of life is, unfortunately, canon. So if they did go back to the quote-unquote golden age-like mentality, I think it would be stupid and I would rant about Starfleet doing it but it is not continuity breaking, and it's not even out of character. Looking at the other uniforms, they are reminiscent of early DS9 and Voyager era, as I've said, but are modified. For those who are interested, I actually have an entire series where I break down all the uniforms up to this point. Check in the top right hand corner or description below. There are some key differences in these uniforms and what we've seen in the past, even when looking at the cadet uniforms. Observing the division-specific shoulders, the colors can clearly be seen running down further on the shoulder and the arm than previous iterations. Additionally, unlike in most versions, the collar is also division-colored. This isn't something that we've seen in the past. Generally, as far as I'm aware, commissioned and non-com officers didn't have these type of collars, or if they did, they weren't division-colored. Well, Reddit calls it a divot, but there's some form of patch of the division color that runs down the front of the uniform just so. Many people have stated that these may be cadets. These images simply don't give us enough information to know. They don't appear to be anywhere near the Academy, the people don't look young enough, and additionally, from what I can see, it appears that pips do exist, but they may have been moved to the breast. There is no definitive evidence here, but if you look at the breasts of those facing the camera in multiple images, the light appears to bend as if there is something shiny on their chest, something metallic. This would be consistent with what we see in some iterations of the uniforms, especially in the comics like Star Trek Countdown and in Starfleet's United Earth uniforms. Lastly, I would say the undershirt being black also goes against the theory of them being in the Academy. Generally, undershirts were worn only for those in active duty. It is possible for them to have made a change, but we haven't seen it before. And again, we have no real way of knowing one way or the other. These are all just educated guesses based on what I'm looking at, not on anything that I know. Moving on and looking at what I presume are aliens in these pictures, I feel like we will be getting some aspects of Discovery returning. As you can see, looking at the being to the right, this would appear to be some metallic or possibly android-like creature. It reminds me of the android or cyborg we saw in the Shinzu. It also seems very consistent with the aesthetics that we saw in Star Trek Discovery. Of course, to the left, we see someone that looks like a Discovery-era Klingon, because why wouldn't they include them? Though if this is a Klingon, it's first season era, meaning the Klingons may be at war. 
If I had to guess, and this is a Klingon, then they're probably at war as their heads have been shaved. Most likely with the Romulans after the destruction of their home world, or possibly the Cardassians. Which, by the way, Romulus being destroyed is canon. It's in timeline and it's a part of continuity. It always has been, but the Picard series just proves it further. Looking at the others, the civilian clothing is actually contemporary, which is nice. The drab grays, browns, and greens that no one would ever wear in the future always kind of struck me as horrific. I'm really glad that they're using something that people look like they might actually wear. Guys, overall, I don't have much more to add. Again, we don't know anything. We aren't given a ton of information. Just like every other channel that's covering this, I'm just giving you thoughts based on what I've looked at and what I've researched. So tell me what are your thoughts? What can we get from a single photo? And also, my god, now I'm looking at photos on Twitter. What has my life become?